Good morning. We're going to start looking at 1-5 today. I'm going to split up 1-5 into two parts. And so here's part one. We're getting into angle relationships. So it's taking what we learned about angles in 1-4 and now starting to understand the different processes and the different naming that goes on for all these different angles. All right. So uh, just a few quick terms to know. Pretty simple right here in this paragraph. It says adjacent angles. You need to know adjacent means next to. All right. So the technical definition is two angles that lie in the same plane and have a common vertex and a common side, but no common interior points. All right. Adjacent angles are next to each other. OK. If you have two angles that make a straight line when you draw them or 180 degrees, that is a linear pair. So you know that terminology. And then vertical angles technically are two non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. For us, they are across from each other, okay? And so that ought to be um, something that's pretty easy to pick out. So let's just kind of jump into it, all right? Down here, it says name an angle or angle pair that satisfies each condition. So here are two vertical angles. The book says, all right, angle EFI, so this angle right there, and angle GFH, this angle. So non-vertical, I mean, uh, pardon me, non-adjacent, and they are vertical. Those are across from each other. All right, I came back uh, when I was teaching this, and we kind of invented a couple of extra points, and we wanted to look at some other ones, and we came up with, all right, CBA, which is that right angle right there, all right, and angle JBE, which is this right angle right here. A lot of drawing going on. You should be able, be able to erase some if you need to, but you should be able to see that. All right, here we go, two adjacent angles. All right, the textbook goes with A, B, D, so that angle right there, and then angle D, B, E, and I'll draw it a little bit under here. So this top one and this one right here, they're touching, okay, but our technical term is they have a common vertex and a common side, but no common interior point. There are a bunch of adjacent angles here. I mean, you can come over here. E, F, I, and I, F, H. You know, these two right there would be adjacent. All right, here we go. Taking a step up. Supplementary angles. Okay, two supplementary angles. Coach Schmidt used to always teach, like, what's up? And you think, sup? And the answer to that would be 180. If Coach Schmidt ever tells you or asks you what's up, you can tell him 180. So supplementary can be asked in geometry a lot of different ways. They can ask you to identify a linear pair. They can say, hey, we got two opposite rays, make a straight line. They're referring to supplementary angles. Obviously, those add up to 180. So you got a bunch of things that can be that, all right? And then here we go. I marked out what the book said. It was fine. All right, but we took and kind of had a picture right here. I took angle KBJ, which is that angle right there, and angle JBD, which is this big angle. And if you draw that whole thing, you can see that that makes a straight line with those angles right there. And there are a ton of them. You can pick these two right there. You could pick these two. I mean, you got so many options there. The only right answer is the one that you pick that's right, okay? Obviously, on a test, if you see multiple choice, you got to be able to pick the correct one. So it's fine. All right. Last one right here. Two complementary angles, okay? Two complementary angles. Complementary is 90, the way I learned that. You had complementary, I'll write it all out, T-A-R-Y, and then you kind of made that C-O into a 90, right? You see kind of that right there? I don't know. Maybe help you remember. If you know that what's up, sup is 180, complementary makes 90. All right, so I need two angles that make a 90-degree angle, so we don't need this one right there that's got, you know, the, the square drawn or the box drawn. I need two that equal 90. Well, I know these two equal 90, right? Because it's right across from them. That makes a linear pair. So that angle and this angle right there are supplementary. And you can see that CBD and DBE is what we just did. CBD, DBE. All right. Just jump down into the exercises real quick. Two adjacent angles, two angles next to each other. We picked STR and RTL. These two right here. They happen to also be supplementary. We'll get to that in a second, but they're definitely adjacent. All right. Two acute vertical angles. All right. So we've got to be careful here. So I can't use the 110 right there. I can't use these two because that's obtuse vertical angles. All right. We're going to do acute. I'm going to do this one. And then it's that whole thing right there. All right. So you got to kind of ignore ray TN 
and we got to look at str and lte notice the vertex is the same in both of those looking at that middle la uh, letter all right here we go number three two supplementary so 180 adjacent angles so they're next to each other and are supplementary well guess what what we talked about number one fits here str rtl there's your 180 those only two answers no there's several there we're just going to use those an angle supplementary to rts so we decided to change it up and go ste and talk about this bottom one right there supplementary is 180 all right Pretty simple stuff. All right, let's go down to this. Two obtuse vertical angles. All right, two obtuse vertical angles. A little bit tricky picture here, but check this one out. Okay, R N T is that right there? Okay, and a vertical angle. They're kind of sharing the vertex across from each other would be S N U, and you can kind of see that right there. Two acute adjacent angles. All right. They've got a, they, we got these smaller ones in here that are next to each other. So VNT and TNU, these two right here, those two are acute and adjacent. They're next to each other, right? So again, I, I guess I should write out, remember, vertical is across, adjacent is next to. Okay, identify an angle supplementary, so 180 to TNU. TNU, obviously, UNS gives you that 180 degrees. Makes that linear pair right there. I'm going to pick up and teach you how to do a little word problem number eight in the next section. And then I'm going to teach you the rest of our angle relationships. All right. If you have questions, email me. This is stuff, to be honest with you, you could get on Khan Academy and probably find some really good examples of all this and just use your terminology. You know, look up vertical angles or adjacent angles or supplementary or complementary. And you're going to find stuff that's going to help, help supplement what you've learned today. All right, get on my canvas, see when things are due, and that's where all your assignments are. Thank you.